The next fault we're going to look at is too much spin on your driver. Now, technology has moved on an awful lot in the last few years. So to test this out, I've been using the GC2 monitor here. And I tried out an eight-year-old driver. And we hit that, and that produced 3,500 on the spin factor. So I then got my new G driver out, made the same swing, and ended up with 2,700 on that. And the net difference with there was it gave me another 18 yards carry, and certainly in terms of roll, probably another seven or eight yards. So you're talking 25 yards difference with the same golf swing, but with new technology. So this is definitely an aspect that you should look into. We're going to look at the technical aspect of creating too much spin in your driver. And what I find is that the players end up coming in too steep. So I'm going to demonstrate what I see an awful lot of. So the players get set up to the ball, and endeavouring to hit the ball from the top, they'll end up doing this. So it's creating an awful lot of spin, the ball's popping up in the air, and you're going to start to lose distance. So a good tip on this is to use what a lot of players have done over the years. Gary players use this, Nick Faldo did it, where they'll do a practice swing with the right foot well drawn back like this. And this will start to encourage a much shallower movement. Because if the club's coming in shallower, you're reducing the spin and you'll increase the flight of the shot. So if I demonstrate from here, much better flight on that and I've attacked it from the right angle. 